Hey guys, what's going on? It's the boy who had seven, and I've got another mystery box unboxing for you today. It's all about the Geek Aficionados box. Stick around to see what I got. Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by and watching another mystery box unboxing. You know, recently I got some mystery boxes from the comic book community, and I'm not usually the kind of person that calls people out. So I'm not gonna go down that route, but what I've decided from now on is every time I get a mystery box, I'm gonna open them up, make a video for you guys, and give them a grade at the end of the video. So I'm about to open up two boxes that I purchased from the Geek Aficionado, all right guys? Each box was $40 shipped, so I paid a total of 80 bucks. Um, he's got a certain amount of books that he has in each box. He's got a lot of bangers, right? Since everybody's using that term now, I'm gonna do it too. He's got some pretty big uh, books that you can win. And so I'm about to open this up now. I cut it open earlier. I looked inside because I wasn't sure if it was two boxes that were gonna get in here or, or maybe I was gonna have two um, Gemini mailers. I saw a little something something. So oh, I think I got something good, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're about to pull it out together and see what is inside. So. Woo! This is awesome. Looky, looky. Looks like there's a slab. Looks like there's some raw books. So, here we go. Oh my gosh. And I've got a 9.8 white pages. I can see it already. I'm just going to go there, guys. I'm going to pull this off. This is box number 25. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. Box number 25. Okay. There it is. And this says here, the Geek Aficionado, congratulations, you are a Comic Aficionado Box Silver Prize winner. Okay, what to do next? Do a happy dance, number one. Two, take a picture of your prize, preferably with you in it. Three, post it to social media and tag me at the Geek Aficionado. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to pull out a little letter that I just read to you so that when I show you what book this is, you guys don't have that in the way. So there's that. Way to go, bro. This is really, really cool. <laughs> this is an awesome uh, Ricardo Frederici variant cover of the Batman Who... <coughs> excuse me. The Batman Who Laughs, number three. Wow, that's pretty cool. 9.8 white pages. Pretty awesome. Cool. All right, so that is one of my boxes. 40 bucks right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 9.8 white pages, you guys know I like that. All right, here is number 12, okay? So here's box number 12. And look at the way he has it packaged. Pretty awesome, okay? And same thing. Um, this one, congratulations, you have received your very own Comic Aficionado box. So, I picked these numbers for a reason. Number 12 is my daughter's um, jersey number for soccer. Number 25 was an old football um, uh, number that I wore. So here we go. Everything's in Mylar. Not bad. Oh, I like ye. All right, this is Doctor Strange number 174, The Power and the Pendulum. That looks pretty cool. Not bad, Doctor Strange 174. Okay, ooh. Green Lantern and co-star in the Green Arrow. This is number 104. Looks pretty cool. All right. And there's that. Cool beans. Okay. Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man, number 89. So this looks like the first cover of The Gibbon. I think there might be a retelling. I'm not too sure. Marvel Tales. Pretty cool. The Human Fly, number 13. I have never read a Human Fly book. Not bad. All right. Legend of the Superheroes. This is an age page revelation, number 267. So, there we go. I'm worried about Elemental Lad. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, I like this. Secrets of Haunted House. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, and he knew his killer, the man who held Yorick's skull. Number 12, 
That's pretty cool. I like that. Look at that. The pretty colors on that. The violet, the pinks. Cool. Kamadi, the last man on earth. This is number 59. Presenting OMAC, one man army corps in his own new series by the one and only Jim Starlin. Sweet. Okay, there's that one. And this looks like this is it. Last but not least. All right, this is uh, X-Men number one. All right. X-Men number one. And there it is. That's a beautiful uh, art germ Jean Grey cover. Not bad. Not bad at all. So there it is, guys. That is the mystery box. Um, I, I, I don't know if there's a banger in here. I'm not familiar with a lot of these books. So... Um, we're going to go look them up, and then I will be right back. All right? All right. Did a little research, and i uh, going to pull these up here real quick. So this first one here is Doctor Strange 174. This is a first appearance of the Sons of Satanish. So that is a first appearance book right there, and I imagine this is the Silver Age. Um, he promised that each box would have one Silver Age, all right, to have a total of eight books, one Silver Age, two Bronze Age, four Copper Age, and then uh, one heart, Hot Art Cover. So there it is, guys. That, that was the promise of his box. The box, the promise has been kept. And um, not bad. I put everything together um, based on the grades that I really quickly looked at, just the front of the covers, which is a no-no. But for this video, I had to do it really quick. Uh, I've got about... 40 to 50 dollars worth of, of books here uh, paid 40 for it and then in my um, my winning box where I got the slab this one's selling between 45 and 55 dollars shipped so I paid 40 for that so there it is guys those are the boxes from the geek aficionado um, if you like what you see guys I will have a link to his Instagram and his YouTube channel in the description below Go hit them up, guys, and stay tuned for the final grade. Thanks for watching. See you later. Mischief managed.